Hello guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tawadhan. In this video session, I am going to show you a solution of a projection of a straight line for a problem like this. A line PQ 85 mm long has its end P 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. The top view of the top and front view of a line PQ is 75 mm and 80 mm respectively. Draw the projections also determine the true and apparent inclination of the line. Now for which the data collection will be like this. The true length of a line is given by P dash Q1 dash which is also equal to PQ2 which is given as 85 mm. In the same fashion the locus of P dash is given as 10 mm above HP, locus of P is given as 15 mm in front of VP. And the top view length is given which is nothing but PQ which is also equal to PQ1 as 75 mm and front view length as P dash Q dash which is nothing but P dash Q2 dash is equal to 80 mm. Now keeping these things into consideration we shall solve the problem. Now make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 mm one should start drawing the XY line. Now let us draw an XY line. And after which the locus of P dash and P is given. So let me draw two locuses. One is above XY line, one is below XY line. Now the locus distances is given as 10 and 15 mm using a distance between command. The distance between these two lines are supposed to be taken as 10 and the distance between these two lines are supposed to be taken as 15, which is going to give the locus desert positions. And after drawing the locus positions, make use of a a line command draw the projector of p dash and p from the locus of p dash to p that is uh, make use of a text command mark this point as uh, p dash and uh, this point as p so by this uh, the required markings is going to be done and after marking these things one can understand that uh, the fair top view length is given that is top view length is pq is equal to pq1 is also nothing but 75 millimeters so q1 will be projected over here henceforth uh, go for a arc by center point command with a thickness of 0 0.13 with p as the center the radius must be equal to 75 millimeter and drop below the x volume because this is the top u length in the same fashion uh, make use of uh, arc by center point command and with the arc by center point command with p dash as the center and the radius value must be equal to 80 millimeter because the front view length is given as 80 millimeter this is going to be the q2 dash position and draw an arc like this next mark the respective points to avoid confusion so using the text command let me mark this as already marked as p and this is going to be the q1 so using uh, keyboard mark it as q1 and this is going to be q2 dash next after marking these uh, respective uh, points then make use of a line command we know that the q1 is going to be projected in the vertical plane as well as q2 dash is going to be projected in the horizontal plane so these extensions will be done and after drawing these extensions one must understand that the true length is given that is p dash q1 dash as well as pq2 now taking this as a reference that is using arc by center point and setting the radius as 85 millimeter keep it at p dash and draw an arc on the line q1 projector which is going there now on the q1 projector wherever you are going to draw here this is the location of q1 dash now to avoid confusion let me mark this point as q1 dash and then after marking a q1 dash over here using a line command with the thickness of uh, 0.13 with respect to the end point and a end point here then uh, let me draw a locus of q1 dash then the locus of q1 dash is finished then we can join a line here in the same fashion exactly i wanted to know where the q2 will be once again i know the length of pq2 as 85 again set the radius as 85 millimeter with p as the center get the position of q2 now this is where the position of q2 
make use of a line command with thickness of 0.13 let us draw one more locus which is nothing but the locus of q then after drawing the locus of q one can complete the problem next using the text command name this point as q2 and the intersection of this arc and this line will be q and the intersection of this arc and this line is nothing but q dash then we have marked all the required points then only thing is make use of a line command and join the respective lines make use of 0.5 mm thickness join p dash to q dash the p dash to q dash the intersection of this arc and a line and in the same fashion p and q the intersection of this arc with this line now i'm getting a midpoint symbol so one can go to tools in the interlay sketch relationship one can switch off the midpoint which will avoid any confusion to us so that we will get the intersection properly once we get the intersection that is going to finish it then again make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.35 let us draw the true lens what are the true lens p dash to q1 dash is one of the true lens and in the same fashion p and q2 is going to be the one of the true lens and after drawing these things now to make sure that whether the solution is right or wrong one can draw a projector of q dash to q if it is going to be a proper vertical line then the solution is 100% correct now one can see it is getting a proper vertical line hence for one can say the solution is 100% correct in all aspects once it is done we have to show the dimensions which is given in the question what are the given dimension this is given as 70 80 mm and this is given as 75 mm sorry and this is given as 75 mm and then the true lens were given so let me show the true lens and these are the given data what we are supposed to show first and then after which we need to measure the things what are the things to be measured true and apparent inclination what are the true and apparent inclination go to angle between command this is the true inclination with respect to hp that is 28 degree apparent inclination with respect to vp sorry hp that is 30 degree again true inclination with respect to vp and apparent inclination with respect to hp so now we have measured all the values so make use of a text command with times new roman switch on the caps lock and keep the cursor here type it as x y and vp hp should be marked and then we have done all the necessary things go to the text command and create a text box after creating a text box write a letter a is equal to 30 degree then beta is equal to that is b is equal to 23 degree then Uh, angle theta that is represented by q is equal to 28 degree but not the least angle phi f is equal to 20 degree then these things which are not representing the uh, required things so go to the text style change it to symbol now you can see 30 23 28 and 20 is the answers the degree symbol has to be obtained here for which go to character map in the character map select symbol and then select the degree symbol copy and then close it paste that respective value using control v whatever the unnecessary things which are been obtained on the screen has to be deleted to make sure that we are going to place the degree symbol on four different locations uh, okay then uh, let me copy this degree symbol properly so degree symbol it is getting there only okay and then i'll put a backspace then say enter delete okay and then the same degree symbol once again it has to be positioned everywhere so 28 degree and then 20 degree so then here in 28 uh, let me delete it then enter yes now one can see we have got the required answers 
So by this one can say the problem is completed in all aspects. And if you have any doubts to solve this problem, one can contact me at any point of time. Please make sure that no late light calls are allowed. And also please share this video to all your first year engineering friends so that it will be helping to them. And also please subscribe and make your friends to subscribe my channel. Thank you guys.